What they did to you was not your fault. I stopped for a moment in the emptiness, the silence, before letting the locked door fall open, remembering that they are not just one person, how they in fact are many people now. As it stands, there are a handful of them and several handfuls of time taken away as I try to recall all the moments under the sun where the skin that I live in hasn't felt like my home, but instead some rented, poorly tended property, overpriced, underfurnished, damp from hidden mould, cracks forged in the ceilings and all along the walls, a sagging, sodden, second-hand mattress skulking in the corner, paired with a shoddy chest of drawers in a hollow, draughty hallway. No pictures on the walls, no number on the door. In the emptiness, the silence, I remember that what they did to me was not my fault. Then I think about my friends and all the men that groped them before they'd even turned 18. Or my mum, as I wonder if she ever had the same pressure to lose her virginity. I think about the kids now and how many of them will suffer at the hands of adults that should know better. Have to learn through making mistakes that shouldn't be theirs to make in the first place. When there's people out there like Andrew Tate who even amid serious allegations of rape, made it into and onto mainstream media. Some 8.5 million followers on Twitter. What a big hitter of women. Get this. The man who said on record, I am a realist and when you are a realist, you're sexist. I have fuck you money and you can't take that away. Well, fuck you, Andrew. Behind bars now. We'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> History has taught children about stranger danger and men in their vans. For decades, we have warned women to walk in groups where they can. And too often, we joke about what would make men more approachable, when really I think we're looking at it from the wrong angle, because the ones we should be most afraid of are gaining millions of views are flaunting their abuse in poor humour, are running the country, are controlling rights and controlling lives that do not belong to them, that have nothing to do with them, because when it's one in six children and one in four women, we deserve more. In the emptiness and the silence, my friends shouldn't come home crying after being stalked in broad daylight shouldn't have to ask for a secret pass to use a back door to feel more comfortable. In the emptiness and the silence, then I am reminded just how big this fight is. In the emptiness, the silence, I will not leave quietly. In the emptiness and the silence, now is the time to shout about this violence. Thank you. Okay, some words for what you just heard, please. Incredible. Incredible.